how you doing Sean O'Brien again at the range and um, today we're just gonna do some messing around with the uh, C308 um, I've had this gun for probably a year now uh, we really haven't done a review on it so um, today we're just gonna do some shooting with it and I'm gonna tell you a little about it and, and tell you what I think of it um, I personally I love the rifle um, it's big it's heavy um, it's dirty and nasty and it's a great I think it's a great battle rifle um, this is a Century Arms um, I think they did a real good job this time of uh, putting them out apparently they had troubles uh, the first time they put them out um, this one I believe I could be wrong they're using a, a PTR uh, made the barrels for them so um, you know it, it, it's just a fun rifle to shoot um, I picked up the magazines from uh, Centerfire Systems. Uh, it came with two mags and a mag pouch for like $6.99. I mean, you can't beat it. I think I bought 20 sets of them. Um, it, it's a fun gun to shoot. So uh, let's let's let me quit talking and start shooting. All right, let me see if I can uh, show you some of these cases we shot a little bit earlier. Um, if you're a reloader, don't shoot this rifle. <laughs> if you shoot brass in it, it, the, uh, it destroys the casings out of them. And it also ejects them probably 20 to 30 feet. It's, they eject them over to lane. We're in lane one and inject them over to five and six, lane five and six. It's pretty amazing how far it... Uh, he ejects them over. All right, so here we are. I'm going to give this a shot, see how I do with it. Uh, like Sean was talking about with these magazines, you can get two mags uh, in a pouch for less than 10 bucks. And the cool thing is about these magazines, especially if you're any sort of a collector, is they are dated. So this one that I have in my hand is actually 576, uh, which is kind of cool. That's when I was born, May of 1976. So they're old mags, and they, uh, they run flawless so far, which is great. The other thing I like about these guns is actually you can change the hardware on them or the stock and the foregrips. I think one of the things that Sean's going to do is put the wooden stock on here, which I think is definitely a cool look, and uh, I think that's the look I would go for too if I had one. So I'm going to shoot it without the suppressor on it. Let's see how we do. Alright, there you have it. Recoil's heavy, but not too bad, I guess like you would expect out of the 308. Uh, you know, it is a, a smaller stock, so I guess a larger stock, if they have them, uh, would help some, I would imagine. Uh, we're running open sights. Of course, you could put an uh, optic on the top if you really wanted to. But yeah, it's a cool gun, man, and I think Sean said they're like six or 700 bucks, so uh, not bad at all. So uh, check us out at 2aguysandgear.com, and you can also check us out on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.